Hello, I'm London Nerd. Today I'm just going to do a quick review on Batman Man Bat, uh, volumes 1, 2 and 3. Uh, this is part of the Elseworlds series, and if you've seen my, one of my first reviews on this, on my channel, was iJoker, which is part of the Elseworlds series as well. I picked these up for a pound each, um, and I have to say, I really don't like this series. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the Elseworld series. But let me get on to Volume 1 first. Man Bat 1. Um, as you can see from the artwork, it's very realistic. Very, um, if you've ever seen the uh, Batman Judge Dredd comics, Bat it's just how Batman is drawn what puts me off this. I don't mind mind for realistic artwork because um, it's actually really good artwork, uh, as you can see. But I just don't like how Batman is drawn. But a really odd uh, twist on the Batman world. I will have to say it's an interesting read. It's just why I don't like it. It's just because of how Batman's drawn. But the story story wise on this. I actually think it's quite an interesting read, and I think that people of who are a fan of Batman should read it. Um, it is the Man Bat series I am actually recommending for Batman fans to read, but I just don't personally like how Batman is drawn, and that's what puts me off it most of the time. But this is uh, number two we're looking at now, and you, the artwork's brilliant. It's just bat how Batman's cow is done. Is just what puts me off in, in this. But absolutely brilliant artwork. It's just how, as I said, just how Batman's drawn. This is number three. But um, I will have to say, Jamie Delano, who writes uh, the stories for Batman Man Bats uh, uh, 1, 2, and 3, is absolutely brilliant writer. Um, so I will say that one thing about this is if you ever find anything by of Bat like Batman stuff and you see Jamie Delano on it, I'd say get it um, just for the story wise because he writes brilliant stories. Anyway, I'm a London nerd and thanks for watching.